Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, June 17th, 2014. This is Talk To Me Tuesday, number 141. My hugs and sympathy to myself and Jen and her family for the loss of their fur baby Merlin this past weekend. I am truly, deeply sorry for your loss. I know what it feels like to lose a member of your family. And people, these are not just pets to us. They are actually members of our family. So, hugs to you and your family. That being said, I would like to encourage everyone to please go to the Greater Good website, click on that little purple box that helps provide food and care for all those fur babies in the world who do not have a loving family to take care of them. It only takes less than a minute each day to click on that box. I do it every day myself, and please, I encourage you to do it because every click counts. It's more food, it's more care that we can provide for them. So... Thank you in advance if you've done going to do it. Thank you to anyone who has, but please remember, do it once a day. It really does help. So that being said, I don't want this to be too long a video, so brief update on my life. I start work tonight. Am I looking forward to it? I have to say not really, um, more so because of my shoulder. I'm really hoping that my schedule is not too physically demanding. Otherwise, I am going to be a very miserable camper because... I already deal with pain in my shoulder every day and I just have learned to live with it because I really can't do anything for it as far as pain medication. So I'm fingers crossed that it will not be, you know, too physically demanding of a schedule. Uh, but we'll see. <laughs> um, I am going to pursue another possible career choice. Uh, may take a few weeks, may take a few months, but I'm really hoping that that one kind of pans out more so because it will definitely be less physically demanding than what I'm doing. And I've already been advised by someone who did my physical that a lot of the issues I have with my body are because I have put my body through the ringer throughout my life. I've always had really difficult, physically demanding jobs. It's very rare that I've had a job that I can actually kind of relax at. So... Yeah, we'll see what happens. I will keep everybody updated, though. So, because of all this going on, I've had very little time for crafting. I have not had a chance yet to play with my Addy again. I will hopefully, you know, be able to, once things get going, balance out my time between knitting, crocheting, paper piecing, playing with the Addy, and other crafts I like to do to be able to find some equilibrium there and be able to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and have at least something to share with you each week. This week I don't really have much. I have two things that I can, well three, that one of them's kind of partial, but I really have a couple things I can share. One of them I finished my socks. So here they are. I will probably bring some yarn to cast on another pair of socks at work for if I have downtime. I don't know, but there's my socks. I like them. I love the yarn. I really think they came out wonderful. I will play around with different patterns for different looks for my personal pattern for my socks so that they're not just plain stockinette stitch socks. So there's that. There's one thing. I did cast on for the flamingo that I mentioned last week. It's not really anything that you'll be able to tell what it's supposed to be. So I'm not even going to bother to show that. Hopefully that's something I'll be able to get done. It's not something I can really take to work because I have to be able to stuff it. And I don't really want to have to take too much stuffing, but I don't want to take not enough. So that'll be something that'll have to be worked on at home. The only other thing I have to share with you is paper piecing this week. The June block has been out for a couple weeks. I did finally get mine completed. And here it is. These were the only two fabrics left out of what I had set aside that I had not used. Um, where the blue is in the handle is actually supposed to be the background color, but I decided to switch it up and use more of the main fabric and these two pieces are supposed to match this one but I thought it would be nice with a little bit of change in there so there's June's block and this is something that you know I am thankful it is only once a month because 
going back to work, I know I can dedicate one day to just sit down and get my block completed. So I will be able to keep up with this. If it was a once a week thing, I don't know if that would work. <laughs> the only th other thing I had to show, I decided yesterday I was going to at least get started on my signature block. I did actually complete my signature block. I'm going to show you some of it, but I'm not going to show you all of it. So this is it. I have the center covered up because, of course, that's where my signature is. And that's where most of the work went into. And I don't want to share that with you. That's something I want to wait until Miss Ofen Jen gets a chance to see it, since this is going to her. Uh, I will do a little video of this particular block, and I will put it in a little folder and save it. And when I get the chance to get to the post office and mail this out, and I know that she's gotten it, then I will share that with you so you can see what's hidden behind this piece of paper. But uh, it's just using fabrics that are coming from, of course, my blocks I'm doing for the PPV bomb. So there's that. Other than that, I don't have anything else to share. It was a long week of orientation last week. Now it's getting prepared to get back to work. I will, like I said, hopefully get things on an even keel so that I have a little bit of time for everything. I can take small things to work with me like socks or something like that because they're small and compact and they don't weigh anything at all. Because the bag we have to carry our supplies in is ridiculously heavy, in my opinion. Um, I actually had marks on my shoulder from carrying it a couple times last week. So I will be taking a smaller bag to work with me to carry what I absolutely have to when I do my rounds. Otherwise, the rest will sit in a room and that's where it will stay until I come home in the morning. <laughs> so other than that... Uh, can't think of anything else. I do look forward to watching everyone's videos. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I will try and sneak them in every chance I can get. I do hope everyone has a wonderfully crafty week and a wonderfully crafty weekend. If anyone has figured out how to grow money on a tree, I would really appreciate it. I will grow an orchard. <laughs> But other than that, I think that's it. So I'm out of here. I will probably not get this uploaded until later, but you never know. I am going to give it a shot and get it done this morning real quick. But we'll see. I don't know. Because I have to get some sleep. So for me, I'm out of here. For you, it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, whatever it is. I really do hope it's a great one. And I will see you all next week, whether it be crafty or not. So bye.